And another speaker from last night is Nancy Keenan of NARAL Pro-Choice America. Nancy, it's great to have you with me. Uh, and I want to jump right in because last night you spoke uh, of knowing the president and his commitment to women in the future. But you also called the decision to have an abortion uh, a decision between a woman, her family, and her God. Now, God is often invoked in the pro-life argument against abortion. Why did you think it was important to bring up God in your speech last night? Well, look, I think that women in this country have this very fundamental value of freedom and privacy, and part of that is making a decision about their life, and we are people of faith. And so it is not just owned by the other side, but rather women in this country that are faced with an unintended pregnancy make a decision, and they make that in the privacy with their family and, and, uh, and their God, and because we are people of faith as well. Uh, I want to play for everybody something that you said last night about Mitt Romney and then ask you a question about it on the other side. Take a look. We cannot trust Mitt Romney to protect our health. We cannot trust Mitt Romney to respect our rights. Trust and reproductive rights, obviously, a huge narrative that's taken the grips of the political conversation leading up to both conventions. But why would you argue that Romney is not the right candidate for women's health or, or for women's rights? Is it just a, a look back over his past posts, his past stances on this, and the, and the fact that, that he will flip? Well, that's just it. You can't trust him. I mean, at one point, you know, he argued that he was pro-choice, and in the next, he has gone so extremely far to the right, both he and Ryan. I mean, we're talking about a man that supports personhood amendments in this country. This is a guy that said he would defund family planning and Planned Parenthood. He said that he would overturn a woman's right to abortion care in this country. That is so outside the mainstream and so extreme that most Americans, I think, reject and don't trust that what he says and what he will do are two different things. And my bottom line is, I don't believe you can trust Ms. Mitt Romney. And our president, President Barack Obama, has stood with us uh, as women, and he trusts women. Nancy, are Mitt Romney's politics more damaging to women or Paul Ryan's? They're, hey, they're the same team. They're playing on the same team. And I think that Mitt Romney mirrors Paul Ryan, and Paul Ryan has a record here. I think the other thing is, um, is that uh, the two of them have gone out and are talking about um, overturning Roe, about making sure that women don't make this decision, but that politicians will make this decision. Uh, and it's something in this country we don't value, is having a politician in, in with women as they, they face uh, decisions around their health care and around their reproductive rights. Nancy, uh, I just want to point out Cecile Richards of Planned Parenthood and Sandra Fluck are also going to be speaking. What does it mean to you that such powerful voices for female reproductive rights are encapsulated in the DNC? Well, I think that, one, the Democratic platform talks about women's reproductive rights front and center. Number two, women are going to make make the difference in this election for Barack Obama. And I believe that um, that uh, my colleagues with Cecile and Sandra, um, that we have been the face of this movement and will continue to stand and tell women there is a contrast between a Mitt Romney as president and a Barack Obama. And we have to reelect Barack Obama. Mayor Nancy Keenan. Nancy, thanks for your time today. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Absolutely. Just a pro